Hello my friends, welcome to another episode of Game Testing Unlimited. My name is Wilfred. So today let's take a second look into Opus Magnum, um, a game that I really thoroughly enjoyed playing. It's a very very well made uh, puzzle game with uh, really good artwork as well. So I'm going to just showcase to you some of the solutions I've got. Now I managed to unlock, unlock until the chapter four, but uh, five. But today's I would like to just share with you some of the solutions I've got in uh, in chapter four. And for those who intend to play this game, perhaps it's a little bit of spoiler alert because uh, you'll be able to see some of this um, you know, quest and what kind of. Uh, solution that I've got but then you know if you are just curious about the game unsure whether you want to play or not I guess it's no harm made because there are many many solutions to the same kind of like a, uh, a result uh, you could go for lowest cost and or lowest kind of like um, uh, most f efficient machine that you make or alchemy and uh, you can also try to make a small footprint compared to other solution but then sometimes you want to have something quite artistic uh, which i do and then it tends to get a little bit bigger as well it is really uh, no right or wrong answer so long as you can complete the solution uh, whichever approach you are if you are not really fixated onto the leaderboard doesn't really matter so now the uh, you know I, I think i haven't really got a chance to show share, showcase to you some of this like you know visual novel kind of thing and uh, i mean the, the artwork is pretty nicely done so just click through a, a little bit for you guys to see um so that is part of the story why you need to build certain things here so i'm just going to start with the lethargy um uh, separation so this one here i think my solution somewhat is not that great uh it's pretty high cost and also not the fastest as well but i managed to do it i don't know whether i enjoy doing this or not yeah i think i did um in some sense it's uh, it's a bit complicated so what you need to do is that you've got something like this here and uh, you know this is what you, it is given to you, and you need to break it down into pieces. So uh, for for those who are new to this uh, this game, uh, by the way, I believe these are uh, these are called the salt, uh, which is the neutral reagent uh, resulting from neutralizing the uh, fire, water, air, and earth uh, element. And uh, through through this guy here, uh, through this guy here, the the calcification, and the uh, this H one, I believe this is uh, called the the lead. Um, but then yeah, we we we'll, we'll go through those elements as we come by. Um, so now to break this part. There, there, are, there are multiple ways of doing it, of course, uh, but I just want to do it the most artistic way. I would say this looks like a little bit of like an arrow kind of thing. So I need to break this down and drop the uh, the lead onto this uh, elemental lead into this area, elemental uh, salt into this area. Um, and I use all this uh, mechanism to cut it into pieces and use the arm to transport the piece, piece and pieces to them. All right. So I'm just click through the um, a bit of one round first so that you can't kind of see what is happening. So first of all, I got grip. Uh, the rotating grip to grip the rotate it all the way to here and then you see that it get cut over here so after it's been cut here over here you will see the arm number two in action that's pulling it um, pulling it uh, in as well um, so that cut cut over here so arm number three can start to put this thing into the uh, salt um, kind of uh, product and uh, here I got another cut as well so I'm just gonna bring that in as well two cuts so I got two element and arm number number four can grab the stuff as well so now it's just a way of uh, transporting while arm number five is uh, trying to do something as well and to get ready to uh, to to catch something here later on as you will see and uh, and I, I collect I've collected the product, so I'm number two, bring the thing back in, cut it once, and then after that, release it, grab the, the lead over that side, and then rotate it, cut it over here as well. So now, number four is uh, is ready to, to pick up something. So this one has a lead, the other one has, um, has these two need to be cut as well somehow. So, uh, so easy, that's being cut, and then number five, we can catch from there onwards. Um, so number two is ready to put this one back in here. Uh, number five is um, you know leaving it to number three and number three going to move it across and get cut and that is the uh, the end of it just bring the rest of it into the uh, the product itself so you can, as you can see now not the not the cheapest solution nor the fastest solution but I thought it was really kind of funny to see two three arms working in parallel in tandem now of course I could do another um, kind of like a video on how to make it better and I will. Um, maybe an improved version but um, 
it's all those things that once you get it, it's, all like, it, it's pretty satisfying to just see it hit the uh, number of product, which is 36 of them. Um, all right, cool. So that is the end of it. Uh, like I said, it's not the best solution out there, but it's a solution nonetheless. Um, all right, so that is one. And then next one that I would like to show you is the stain remover, which is kind of uh, pretty all right. I'm, I'm doing average here. Uh, Cost-wise, it's like the majority. It's uh, not the fastest eat, uh, as well. Uh, Area-wise, it's using lesser area than majority, I would, I would say. Uh, let's go for it. Um, so now this, this thing here is really fun. You need to create an end product that looks like something like that. This is the end product, by the way. Um, so for those who can't see, the one in the middle is the... Um, is the uh i'm trying to see what is it there i think after that is tin so that's a tin um so you need to transmute the uh the the lead into tin by dropping two lead there and get the next order of uh of our of um you know uh, element um so it goes some uh, from lead to tin to iron to to copper, to uh, silver, and to gold. Uh, so that is the uh, the order of it. Now, if I were to do it again, I'll probably do a spinning spinning wheel. Uh, I think it would be quite fun. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Um, so now what I do is that uh, it's pretty straightforward as well. So two, three, and four will start action. Uh, two, three, and four is this one here, this one here, and uh, this one here. Now you need to assemble the uh, the middle part, which is the uh, which is the lead no the tin sorry and then you need to uh, have the two blues here and two uh, two green there and the rest of it is salt salt you need to trans uh, you can put a glyph of uh, calcification to change it into um, into the salt now the tricky part is how to create a, a, a a blue one which is the air plus, plus salt and then use the same mechanism uh, to create a water plus salt and I use a, a little bit of rotation to use the same glyph in order to make it happen uh, and this is the, the part that join join the or or the upper part and lower part right so uh, what I do is that first of all I, I drop this guy there um, and then meanwhile I pull this two into one and after that, I put it, transmute that into salt. So this one becomes salt and uh, water, I think. Um, then after that, the moving across there, and then I drop it there uh, for for next bit. All right. So that is the uh, waiting for for it to to happen. Some connection there. Next one, uh, and I'm going to this one has the iron, a tin. Sorry, the tin will then get uh, joined to the this part here. All right. So now it's you can see it's forming. All right, tin, uh, water, and the uh, and, and the salt. And after that, meanwhile, let me grab the same thing again, uh, same mechanism, uh, but I need to put it there. So now you got one one side all done up nicely. The uh, all the all, all the air is um, all the water is fine. Now you need to trans uh, transmute the water into salt while re having the air as it is. So it's a little bit tricky here. Um, um, yeah, meanwhile, the rotation. By the way, you can see it. So this guy grab the uh, grab one each. So instead of Passing it like you see there. I, what I've done is that I do a rotation so as to make sure that I would I would, I would cal calcify the the water instead of the uh, the the air. So now that that um, kind of uh, uh, get sorted there. So meanwhile, I've I got another arm there because it's just too long for one arm to go all the way there and come back. So meanwhile, this thing is already happening. I leave a parallel processing there and rotate that into the the right place and uh, number five picked up where things are and uh, merge it in and that is the final product and the whole thing was then start again right so that's it then drop to here so that's done all right so you can see that um, pretty fun I mean you know like I said it's a, it's a neat solution uh, probably not the fastest one or the cheapest one but I have quite a lot of fun doing this one uh, when, when, when you can get all the rotation correctly a bit of it um, and then the game you run it for like a six cycles uh, to make six product mm, yeah uh, make sure that it uh, is working for for six products don't ask me why so that is the uh, the two of them uh, not the best kind of like solution like I said but it's one that nonetheless looks pretty pretty fun to watch as well as I'm like you know sometimes I just look at the GIF you can save it as a GIF as well by the way so there's a second solution um, the third one is uh it's getting better uh trust me uh this one i love it it's a swat uh so this swat here hang on i've got like quite a lot of um so let me let me try to recall so i've got this solution here i got this solution here that is like uh uh i think is maybe is uh more expensive 
but uh, way faster and the uh, this is this is the most expensive solution I think I don't know why I, I do that uh, let me think about uh, which one is the the best solution this is the um, two three three two one it's a bit slower this one is cheaper let's let's take a look at this one whether it works or not <laughs> I hope it works so now this one here is to um, uh, you I need to create a um, so this is um, iron I think um, yeah this is iron uh, the next one is copper so this is the iron plus two lead um, uh, sorry two yeah lead so I need iron, a tin sorry two tin so I need to combine two of them into uh, into a tin all right so I need to drop two into here and after that the uh, then the tin can create the, um, the, 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 the iron itself so um, let me just run it through the, how it works here so what I've done is that I grab two of them and then I rotate, drop it into here, then create a tin. Um, so from lead, I transmute the tin, because two lead into a tin. Then I grab the tin in here, start the uh, rotation into this side here. All right, so that is the uh, what I need to do. Meanwhile, I got another tin and then I push it into the next one here. And the next one here will start to create iron, um, the next wheel. And I put my, my arm here, just uh, wait until it spawns. This is the iron that comes in. So uh, I'll grab the iron and put it in the middle. And meanwhile, another tin uh, get birth. So uh, that is done. And the uh, I go from the bottom. So that is one leg is done now. But it's kind of uh, a bit tricky because you need to connect it like like that. Um, and, and then this thing go all the way to here. So you need, the, you need another one that go, uh, they connect. To, to, to the iron, you need to let to go into iron. So, uh, so I push it to here, right? And then after that, I got the uh, one iron here, or uh, lead, sorry. Then I got the uh, lead as well, right? So that is yet another one, got it there. Um, then it got connected over there. And the, and now that is, that is connected over like that, but you need to, uh, yeah, I think that is basically the, the end of it if I'm right. Yeah, see, uh, let me see. Hope I, I hope this is the correct solution because sometimes I do have multiple ones. Now the, yep, so they connect over that side as well. So you see, uh, it, it interconnect everything. So you need quite a few connector here. So as it run, you can see that it keeps running quite nicely. Uh, it does the clockwork, um, create this whole sword here. I just want, yes, I like it, it's pretty, I like it, it's pretty, pretty fun. Um, so you can see that it's creating, uh, this side is creating the the, the uh, tin, the other one is creating iron uh, and they combine to this structure here. You just need to wait until you hit the end and after that they, they will say it's a, it's a solution made. So you need to make quite a number of product here. Um, yep, so that's it, done. So uh, it's, uh, it's a pretty pretty decent one. Majority of people get this solution, I guess. Um, yep, so that is one. Uh, I wonder what the other one version is. I've got another version. So uh, I should start to rename it. Invisible link is uh, probably one of the uh, you know one of the better one I've got because it does give you the fastest um, kind of like a delivery. One of the fastest, not the fastest, of course, is over here. Uh, it does use up a lot of area though, uh, and then the cost is pretty high as well. But nonetheless, it's one of my favorite. Now this one looks quite inti intimidating because I really want to do a symmetric kind of thing. If you look at the way that the instruction goes, there one and two is one uh, one is. Uh, same as two, three is the same as five, and four is the same as six. So instead of explaining the the whole thing, I just want to ex probably explain part of it. Then you can you can understand what why the other, how the other part goes. Now I need to create uh, two different um, kind of like a set here. So one is a salt plus the um, I believe this is the air a uh, water salt plus water, and then here is the uh, salt plus water. But one is the vitai. Uh, Ta, Vita, and other one is Morse. I think it's more like a positive, negative, or life and death kind of thing. Uh, so in order to create this um, uh, Vita and the, uh, the Morse, uh, you have to put two salts into this area. And in, or in order to create a salt, uh, I've got the, uh, the water. Now, of course, some water will go into the, the element product here, and then some water, uh, some would go into the salt here, and then there is a bit of like a vitar and Morse as well. Um, and then I have all these things to connect, so all these are connectors, all right? So 
just focus on one set first. Don't get distracted by the other one. So step one, uh, the number number two is start to pull the thing in, transmute into a salt, uh, dump it into this area, and then dump it in, become one vita, one more. Uh, life and death, positive and ne negative. Then this guy start to pull the, the uh, one of the um, uh, water out, and uh, this guy start to take the more as well. And then what happened is that it's connect the more with the uh, more with the um, the water. And then I rotate it, I have to move it out of the way, otherwise it gets stuck there. And then I pull this guy here and the, uh, for, the, for the next uh, connection. So now we connect like this one, which is very much like in you know, the water, more water. Then I need to connect these two together. And I think, I believe I swing it across. Um, yeah, so this part is the part that probably, uh, you know, took a bit of uh, iteration. I connect it there and then swing it back and then drop there. All right, so that's it, one cycle. So if you look at both up and down, it's symmetric, it's beautiful. I love this solution a lot. Um, it's just very, very beautiful. Therapeutic to watch either. So yeah, I mean, I hope you get an idea how this one works. Uh, that's one solution. I could do another solution, of course, or something different to, uh, to, to this one as well. All right, so that is the um, Invisible Ink, one of my favorite uh, of the chapter four. And then we have the... Uh, the purified gold, uh, purified gold, it looks like, uh, actually this one, pretty, pretty low cost. If you look at the cost itself, uh, it beat the majority of people. Uh, so it's not the most efficient uh, and it takes up not that much area. So now this one, I need to create gold. Very simple. I've got four lead into gold. So he, this one here, this device here will, will combine two lead into tin, then two lead into tin. So after that, I got two tin that will create uh, iron. Then I need to have two iron to create the uh, copper. Then I need two coppers to create the silver and two silver to create a gold. So that is how it goes. Now I'm just going to run this through because it, it's a lot easier to just see how the whole rotation goes. Um, it looks like a little dark, you know what I mean? It looks like a little dark here. I don't know whether you guys see or not, but uh, yeah, it, it goes something like that. I grab, transform, transform here, put it ready, transform the two into a uh, copper. And the copper is going to uh, into the silver. There's another silver coming in, incoming silver. Uh, one more here, two more become gold. So that's it, one cycle. So after that, it runs on its own. It's very, very therapeutic. Now, if you wonder why this thing needs to go up and down, because otherwise you you collide with the existing wheel um, for a reason, uh, for a good reason. So I need to somehow separate them a little bit. Um, I could use arm instead of uh, a wheel like this. Arm is much cheaper. It's only 20 gold instead of like, um, you know, uh, 30 gold. But hey, I mean, it looks so pretty. Sometimes it's aesthetic part of it. Uh, it's very therapeutic to watch as well. It was really, really uh, confusing for me to program this guy up because you need to put in quite a fair bit of like uh, instruction. Of course, you could repeat the instruction, but still, uh, it's a fair bit of instruction uh, like this one here. You see, all this instruction. So I need to make sure timing are right and so on and so forth. A little bit of uh, a little bit of experiment uh, to get it right. All right. So uh, last two now, alchem uh, alchemical uh, jewel. This one though, the uh, it's not that great. I use a lot of cost here. Uh, cycle wise, so so is lower than the rest, um, and also took up a lot of area. I will definitely come up with a better solution. I'm just not quite sure whether it's the same thing or not. So this one has a lower cost. So I'm just, just, I'm just going to use this one, showcase to you this one here. It's a, it has a lower cost. <laughs> I remember this one. Mm, yeah, probably, you know, looking back, I could have done it in a much better way and I probably should have because now that I'm on the chapter five, I'm quite good at making stuff like this one. But anyway, I need to make something like this one. And, um, and, the, and, and the reason why this is a little bit harder because I, I'm so fixated to use uh, a wheel because I'm just in love with the wheel. If I were to use a uh, uh, arm like this type of arm and just rotate from the middle uh, it's a lot easier and faster but because i would like to try something different like the wheel then it become more complicated of course um is it right way right way of doing thing or wrong way of doing thing doesn't really matter sometimes you want the variation just do it hard way that's fine so now the um if you use a wheel and you notice the wheel the middle is uh is is, is uh, basically you can't put anything in the middle so 
I have to form the uh, the 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 water. I think this is the water earth. I have, I have to form the earth first, but I have to leave a hole whereby I have to insert the uh, gold inside. This is gold, by the way. So um, I, I have to do like five five earth, insert the gold inside, and put the last earth in. And after that, I come back somewhere and to start transmuting the uh, the the salt and gel uh, and put it together. All right. So that is. In essence, what I'm trying to do here. All right, so guys, uh, so observe number one first. Uh, number one is basically uh, just uh, connect the thing. So I got like so right now I've got uh, all five of them in just a few maneuver, and now move it over the side, the other side to connect them, and uh, connect them through here. All right, so that one is done, and uh, the goal will start to come in. Um, so now the goal will then connect over here. It's kind of neat. Um, yeah, so it connect the gold here, and after that the um, then it connect over here, and then I do a rotation, I believe, uh, to connect the middle part of it. Uh, I connect the all the middle part of it. Yep. Um, and then I start to do the uh, the sort. Yep. So this side one side sort. Then I connect the two of them, and the uh, then I connect the rest of the sort uh, this way. So I keep dipping the thing in and get a sort. Uh, and after that, um, you know, just make sure that everything else is connected and done, All right? So that is done. That's my product. So I do let it run. Like I say, it's a fun, really, really fun kind of solution. Uh, if I were to do it again, I wouldn't have used the uh, the wheel thing eh? because that is not the most efficient way to do things. But hey, I have fun. I mean, it's kind of funny to insert the thing in the middle and after that close off and then connect everything else put the salt there and just rotate the thing through it um, yeah it's, it's nice to watch as well uh, yeah have, a, have fun doing this one um, but uh, it's uh, I mean I, I'm gonna play this game a couple of times as well just to find a different solution do things a little bit differently and see uh, but yeah so this is the the essence and gist of it uh, quite therapeutic to watch as well so they run through like a couple of cycles and then they show you the end result of it um, yeah or how well or not well you're doing so this one yeah i mean high cost i know that not the most efficient i also know that and it use up a lot of area yeah all right cool um then the last one would be the um the golden thread so this one here um i think it's average i say the cost is you know what the majority of people are having cycle wise is also what the majority of people are having and the area wise is one of the smallest footprint um areas so i'm quite happy about this as well uh, I need to co create this whole thing here, the golden thread. The challenge here is that um, it does, you know, if you look at the, you know, the the, the thing here, it, it it does reverse on the other side, so it creates a kind of like a like a like an empty space in the middle. So the best way to look into how this one works is that to identify which is the repeatable content or or the, the component. So if you look at two sorts plus the gold. Uh, plus the two sort is uh, is one repeatable component. It just gel the thing. Um, you can glue the thing onto it, and then you just keep making these guys here. So now the way I do it is that um, I believe I use the uh, I, I I I use the I drop the uh, salt uh, to the various kind of places uh, left and right, and then after that I start gluing the salt, and after that I insert the uh, gold inside, and after that I. Um, I create this whole component. So I do a two sorts plus one go. Uh, so let's take a look at that. Uh, so I, I, I basically I use the two arm to help me distribute left, right, and center. Uh, so now I've got the, I've got the uh, two, 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 um, two sorts there. I believe the go will then start to, to uh, go into places. So the go is into the places and the next bit of it. So now it's one component being made, and the rest of it is just um you know a continuation of everything else, and then you connect over here as well uh, to make sure that everything is connected well. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, pretty straightforward. And there's the last one of it, and um, as soon when I complete the uh, yeah, so there's the last bit of it, and as when as uh, I mean as soon as I create the the new kind of um. Chapter five. Then I'll share with you a little bit more. Uh, if you guys like to see a little bit more, or you can have any special requests, if so you wish to. Uh, happy to to do something for you guys as well. It's one of the really really fun games. So I'm now on to chapter chapter five, which is probably the one chapter before the last one. I don't know what this one is. I have, haven't been there yet, but it'll, it'll probably populate until somewhere here. So I'm doing it. Um, then uh, it's getting a lot more challenging and complex, but I'm I'm having a lot of fun playing this game. All right. I hope you enjoy. Um, see you next time. Goodbye.